My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. Welcome to the Soul Gym series. This video is on gratitude and acceptance in the gym. Now, ancient wisdom and modern psychology have shown that these things improve happiness and also that self-acceptance, paradoxically, is the start of any kind of change. In a, in a modern gym, however, you tend not to see much of either of these. What we tend to see is dissatisfaction and craving for something else, like trying to get somewhere else, you know, lose weight or get a different kind of body. Now, it's, it's fine to obviously to want to work on yourself and also from a Buddhist perspective, craving and dissatisfaction are really the root cause of unhappiness in people. So I think it's worth looking at, is there another way to be in the gym? So as I said, there's nothing wrong with wanting to lose weight or whatever physical aim is, uh, and accepting the body as it is can lead to a more enjoyable workout than punishing your body and coming from this perspective that your body isn't good enough. And, and the beauty of that, of course, is that you'll want to work out more. Now, if you, every time you go to the gym, you're punishing yourself and not accepting yourself and having a resentment towards your own body, um, you're not gonna really wanna go there. That's not very pleasant. Where starting from the point of view of acceptance and gratitude is, is much more enjoyable. A side benefit as well is that gratitude creates a relaxed body-mind state, and this is more efficient and less prone to injury, so it'll actually help you in the gym. So when you arrive at the gym, you can spend a moment silently thanking yourself for getting there, despite the busyness of your life and your other commitments. You know, most people have to overcome something to get to a gym. Um, you can also thank your body for whatever health it has. So accepting whatever conditions there are here and now and welcoming whatever feelings you have about that. So however your body is, it's at least healthy enough to have got through the door. You are alive, so there's always a reason for gratitude. And remember that this paradox that accepting how your body is will actually help you if you want to change your body and welcoming whatever emotions are in that too. So this can be just a moment of quiet reflection when you sit on a machine or as you even just walk through the door of the gym.